Believe it or not, the place you're about to see has been abandoned before I was born. You're about to watch one of my most special and precious explorers to date, as I will time warp you back to a bourgeois era gone by donkeys years ago. Deep inside the forests of rural France lies a mystic beauty that has its roots in the 12th century. Time has forgotten about this ancient chateau and so has the owner due to prohibitive costs for the upkeep of this bewitching and historical property. It's now nothing more than a gallon of rotten milk, expired in 1994, never looked after anymore, and a victim of neglect ever since. Everywhere scattered around, we find valuable historical artifacts, impeccably interesting antique furniture, rooms frozen in time, and personal memories. With some help I was able to digitalize a few old family photo negatives found inside. The end result will leave you absolutely speechless. Between these old negatives, are the original marriage photos dating 1976 of the couple that once resided here Count Mathieu and Countess Hélène We can gradually see how they were prepared for the big day in their lives On top of that we find other precious memories of which we will not disclose too much sensitive information. But today is the day, the day I will wake up this castle that has been dormant for decades on end and together we will bring it back to life once again. The floors are a ticking time bump and it will not last the coon's age until most of them will be leveled to the ground solely leaving this castle a desolate room. That's why I'm creating a visual memory of this outstanding historical French landmark before another piece of history will be gone forever. Together we'll be one of the very last people to appreciate this lost beauty once again. And give this exalted place the recognition it always deserved, but nonetheless never received any earlier. So hello and good morning everyone. As you can see all around me we're not surrounded by any more than beautiful nature and we're currently walking to an enchanting place that's hidden deep inside of the forest in France. It's so peaceful here. We can hear the flows of some rivers. We can hear the birds chirping in the background. And it's still really early. 
but there is nothing to be seen no one no single car no single people and that's because nobody is living in the proximity of this enchanting chateau or castle i would not really call it a castle but rather a chateau because it's not an enormous property it's actually for a chateau it's still quite limited in size but despite that this place is so magical and I also find it really adorable how do I already know what it looks like well we already went to check it out yesterday evening and I made some really beautiful photos and I had a great ambience in this place so yeah stay tuned as we're walking to it right now Today I'm accompanied again by one of my friends, Sarah. Hi. And yeah, we're on this journey together. Again. <laughs> so are you ready to travel yes. back in time? I'm ready. It's gonna be amazing. So we're almost there and this is gonna be a very special exploration. I know you love these magical chateaus and manor houses in France, but this particular one is gonna be amazing. We're currently walking slightly uphill towards the street where the chateau is located and then it's time to go and explore and go on another magical quest together and because this place is so special I can unfortunately also not disclose too much information about the property for example I'm also not going to show the exterior of this place it's a double mixed feeling because I would love to show it to you it's absolutely enchanting as I already mentioned but meanwhile when I will do that bad people or wrong intentioned people can easily find out about the address and it will be ransacked and vandalized in no time and I do not want that to happen to such a rare place well preserved history that has been stagnant in time nearly forever you're gonna see it enough talk let's start the fun this is such a beautiful area to be and this can make such a beautiful property one day there's even a giant lake just right in front of this property it really feels like I'm in Santa Box right now. It's really giving me the same vibes. see two sheds but it's evident that nature has done its job over time we will surely check out these sheds later in the exploration but first I want to get inside of the castle and that's where we're gonna start another unforgettable exploration People that lived there once owned a great fortune with farming and viticulture. There are still distractors standing as well. But what I loved about these people is that they actually lived a quiet, relatively normal life. Even when they were living in a chateau like this, they just lived up to normal standards. They had a basic car, just a motorbike, and for uh, a landlord of a castle or chateau like this they were just living the simple and simplicity beauty of simplicity i had to go down a little bit because i saw one car the first one and that one just passed 
and I want to show you one other thing. So I'm not sharing the facade or the exterior of this property, but have a look at this wishing well over here, or water well. Wow. Let's see how deep it actually is. <laughs> it's quite deep to be honest. Alright, the crazy thing is that really nobody is caring about this property anymore. Over here we have the glass door, roots are making their way in and the door is also just standing open. And there we go. So let's put on the mask and I hope everybody is ready to transport themselves to a time gone by. We're gonna time travel to an era that is still amazingly well preserved in time. This place is unbelievable. The history is still so well discernible. I can really sense the echoes of the past. And we're gonna start in this absolutely mesmerizing castle that feels so precious and special to me. So let's go on the tour. I'm gonna close the door. And we are gonna preserve history together today. As some floors are very close to collapse and within a year or a couple of years, we can never even appreciate this beauty anymore as it will be history forever. Now I'm just starting off in this room. We still have an old secretary desk with a lot of files. I found out that the name of the man was Mathieu and together with his family, he lived there. Now look over here. Wow. There will be plenty of times during this exploration that I am going to be speechless. I do not even know what to say. But don't worry, at those moments I will just be lost for words because of the abundant beauty in history. Now look at this. A beautiful wooden carved fireplace with still the iron at in front and even still a very disintegrated bellows is standing there. We've got some lion figures and everything. Those symbols that look like the French fleur de lis. Precious artwork. And this is only the little start. Wow. Even have a look over here on the embroidered pillow with this crown saying Labore de Cou. I'm really wondering what it means, but this looks so royal. The people that lived there were definitely officials and important people. But despite that, they were not about luxury. They just love making this place a truly, nowadays, historic gem. And they just decorated it to their own taste. Now this sort of eagle statue over here is entirely collapsing, its wings are broken. Look at all these old books. Now the best is yet to come, but before going to the next room, I just want to point out some other details. For example, look at the tall curtains and draperies over there.
the state of decay is severe. It's tragic and hardly understandable that people have just walked away from this property and as a matter of fact the stories even go that the inheritant, the owner, because there is still an owner, is not caring about the place anymore. He's given up and he's just letting it decay and decay in time because it's not possible to fix it anymore in his perspective. And then look at this. Wow. This is absolutely breathtaking. It feels as if I'm in a fairy tale right now. It's an entirely stocked library. All the shelves are full of books. We have a piano in the middle. A grand piano of Pleyel from Paris, full of dust. A vintage radio. Wow. There are so many books inside. Look over here. We have an old picture of this adorable girl. And she once was raised up in this chateau. She grew up here and there is a chance that she's still alive. Probably the reason why this place is now a victim of neglect is not just because they don't care about it anymore, but also because of the cost and money. It's very hard to find any interested buyers if there are st so much fixments and repairments that need to be done. Well, I wish I could do a piano test, but it's impossible to open it. And the keys are mostly broken by the harp air on the bottom. We can clearly tell that this is a Playa piano. I also really love the mint green color of the walls and the shelves here. Look at the dark red boots standing on the ground. So let's see, we've got some books here. And they're actually national dictionaries. They are so big. Over there is even an album from War Trimes from 1914 and 1919. It's terribly decayed. All the pages are just ripping apart as I try to just look inside. My gosh, it's impossible, guys. I will only destroy it more and more. I'm leaving it for what it is. So many dictionaries, but also Bibles, and also, of course, encyclopedias. Wow. The architecture with the arcs over here and the carved sort of columns is absolutely to call unique. I've never seen this before in any abandoned property. We even still have some little wooden stairs standing right over here in order to reach the books in the upper compartment. And then look over here, wow. We've got some precious artwork and paintings. We even have some ornate details on the ceiling over there. Wow. 
what a room. And it was when I saw this room that I've been willing to come here forever and ever. Finally, I found out not only about it localization, but I also finally found the time to go here because I've been so busy exploring so many countries lately. And I've been doing what I love the most, and that's seeking the beauty and history and decay. I'm gonna show you the beautiful and precious paintwork from a closer perspective. Over here we can still see the artist that made this painting. Wow. Virgile inspirant de la vie champeterre. It's about a life somewhere and about inspiration. Probably to give you an impression of what life used to be one day. A very long time ago, as you can see, what the people are wearing. And then the other one over here. Orphée adolescent chantant devant des bergères. It's trying to tell a story. Wow. Look at the person over there playing the harp. We've got some cows in the background as well. And then connected to this room, we had a little dining area. The chairs, the table, everything is still standing in its original position. And look at all these shelves as well over here. Some of them even contain some porcelain work. They even have the crown symbol we've seen earlier on the pillow. All of them, every single one. And it's saying 888 on those crowns. Or it is an infinity symbol, of course. Still everything is left inside. Those look like bowls where they used to do the desserts in. And for example some pudding or ice cream. The plates over here. Well, it saddens me to see this but the people that live there probably left this property because of an older age and they eventually departed this earth. But this is interesting. Morgen, Mittag, Abend, Nacht. This is no French language, no. This is German. German, Switzerland or Austria is where these people probably were coming from or at least the last generation that lived there. And if you look up closely, we can even see that there are still some pills inside. Unbelievable. I think we're going to find out a lot about the story of the people that lived there and the generations that have passed inside this property. This used to be a huge kit for all the cutlery, silver cutlery, they used to be full of forks. And 
even the interior of these shelves is just crumbling apart. Look at it. It's all peeling off. Now this might be nice to show you as well. If we look to the outside, we can see the garden. And look at that. Totally overgrown. We still have this swinging bench over there and even arcs in front of the property. And that's all I'm gonna show you in order to protect this place, as I mentioned earlier. You can tell by the weeds, it's fully overgrown. Fully. So, let's continue. Oh, and right over here we still have some cutlery left behind. Wow. What are even these sticks on the sides of this table? <laughs> Feels like it's bamboo or something, but that's so uncommon. What was it? its purpose? Even still, the pepper and salt pots are standing here. They probably used to do vinegar inside of here or some liquor. Grab it right in the middle and put it on the table. Well, I thought I could open this, but no, I can't. It looked like one of those old French games where you have these gambles inside. And then look on the sides, those are all the heaters, the radiators are right behind these doors. But they also had, a, what is this, a fireplace or something? Yeah, a fireplace in the middle. Wow. And as you can see, there is a part of the radiator I was talking about. So some heaters and a fireplace. It must have been complicated to keep this room warm. Where you still have all the modes for the heating. I just can't believe what's still left inside of here. I've said this many times in previous videos, but this place is exceptional. And everything is just so close to collapse. It's a ticking time bump. You can tell how skewed the lamps are. Right now I'm holding the camera straight to give you a better picture of it. There is so much to see inside here. It's gonna be a very long video, but a very unforgettable one. Up there is some paintwork with fruits. A bottle opener for a cork, of course. Nice bottles of wine, because that's what they produced and that's also what we're going to find later. Just some laces inside of there. I'm going to close it off. We've seen these red chairs already, but there are also these other upholstery chairs with this crown as well. So it might have been an important symbol of the family coat of arms or something that was directly related to the family. And that they had these chairs customly made for them. We're continuing. Let's see. Oh, all right. So I guess this was the kitchen of them. Over here we can see 
Hélène. And Hélène was directly related to Mr. Mathieu that lived there. She looks like a nun. And I have to say, Mr. Mathieu, he was strictly Roman Catholic, religious. The religious belief for the people that lived there was extremely important. Now, before going to the kitchen, I firstly want to show you the room on my left hand side. Another room that's a victim of neglect and will soon collapse as a wall and not exist anymore. There is already a large hole in the ceiling there. A beautiful bedroom, yet in such a state of disrepair. But I can still clearly see the beauty in it. floor. Wow. A marble fireplace again with the French fleur de lis symbol displayed in the iron carvings in its design. I think there used to be a photo right over here but it's gone. I really love this little pram. Once used to transport a little baby or maybe it was just for the doll of a child but this was definitely a child's bedroom my freaking gosh even all coats and shirts are hanging on the coat racks in this wardrobe that's unbelievable it's been abandoned for so many years. But still, everything is there. Paintings. And we got these frames of flowers. Over here we can even see some crumbled parts of the ceiling that has fallen on top of this wardrobe. Wow, a beautiful vintage radio. There are even some channels from the Netherlands. Hilversum, for example, is in the Netherlands. Most of them, though, are in France, but also we've got Italy, we've got Madrid, the capital of Spain, Brussels in Belgium, Stuttgart in Germany. Look at this. What will be inside of here, this mysterious box? Nothing anymore, but I think there used to be jewelry inside one day. And this was definitely another religious person. I think he was a priest or something. Now, these doors, I can't open, they're locked. This one is leading to the other room, I think. I've just shown. And look at the spiral carvings of this table. Absolutely unique again. And so antique as well. Let's see what's inside the chest. Just some paperwork. And then the two beds there. Oh my. It's quite satisfying how this wallpaper is decaying here. And there are like these lines. Like it always used to be like this. On the vertical sides they are slowly peeling off. Pretty captivating, to be honest. Wow. Related frame of Holy Mary. I'm 
so many things dedicated to the Roman Catholicism. And then only to imagine that the windows over here are broken. And there is no one doing anything about it. We have the beautiful back garden. And the grounds surrounding this place, the lands, they are enormous. And you know what I'm gonna do after the exploration? I'm gonna close everything up, the shutters outside, the windows, to prevent this place, or at least extend the place from collapsing anywhere soon. Because preventing it entirely will require a lot of funds that I unfortunately cannot bring up. I was telling you that I was showing you the kitchen after this room but as you can see we also have some stairs going down and they are leading to the basement. Now let's just do everything in a chronological and logical sequence and firstly go down here in this dark dungeon. Wow! Look at this! Wow, there are still so many wine bottles on these nails. <laughs> well, looks like they definitely lived a happy life and they lie drinking some booze occasionally. Wow, an enormous quantity of everything. Absolutely incredible, I was not expecting this as I did not check out this basement yet. Dang. Wow, oh wow. Oh, and over here we still have an old casket, a wine barrel. I think those barrels were for own consumption. We still have some jars over there as well, with canned vegetables. But so many bottles. It seems that all the bottles that are still standing here are their complete life consumption. But I think back in this time era they did not have a municipal service that just came to collect all the empty bottles. I think they just like storing it in the basement, but if you know more about it, I would love to hear from you. Wow, yeah, look at this. Now this was definitely for their viticulture and wine production. We still got all these tiny wooden caskets here for the wine production and mostly storage of course because over here the conditions were optimal for it wow <laughs> guys I'm so enthusiastic this is what I live for just uncovering these, these secrets and just finding them in such a state that it seems it's been laying here forever and ever. Over here are so many crates that are again full of these bottles 
There are probably over 500 wine bottles on this floor. This is what I was telling you with the humid conditions right down beneath here. This wine cork is full of white mold. Looks quite nasty. Well, there is one other room over here in the basement. But this one is not very spectacular. It is interesting though to see the former mechanism of the power and the heat. This was definitely the heater. Over there we can see the water pipes and everything. And they used to put a lot of charcoal inside the heater that is still dumped right over here, everywhere throughout. Okay, so we're going back upstairs from the dark dungeon. We're going to the more light and vivid environment again of the ground floor. Or as you would say in France, le premier étage. And look over here. We also still have some paintings and everything standing there. And now finally this was a little kitchen of them. We still have these tiny pots standing on these gas beds over here. As you can see these nets over here. They used to serve to prevent any mice or rats from coming inside and actually consuming their meals and their food products. It's a phenomenon you often see, especially in the more old and historic buildings. Those definitely were freezers or fridges to keep things cool. But it seems that in the last days they did not really use it like that anymore. still have some bottles of drinks and I think some vinegar standing over there. I don't know what's inside of here but it's completely solid. It used to be food. Dang. This place is a legit Time capsule. Still a washer aware as well. Let's see the water. No way. Even the water is still coming outside. I immediately turn it off. Looks like those were some of the last dishes they needed to do. And right over here connected was a tiny toilet. Connected to the kitchen was another room that served as an additional place where they would serve some meals and prepare some meals, I think. Still got some oven gloves. <laughs> Hamburgers with meat. And this paper over here. I think it used to be pages from a cooking book. Ooh. That the LM is also close to collapse. It's only still attached to the few cables. Over there is the door leading to the back garden. A beautiful traditional England Loop fireplace. This looks repulsive. Used to be sugar powder. I think it has entirely caramelized and there was only this black substance in the tin over Some matches, a clock. Let's check this water out. This one's not turned off anymore. Nope. 
Whoa, what's this thing? My gosh, what is it? Could even have been a weapon or something in the war. I really don't know. I've never seen this before. If you know what it is, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section. Well, over there we just have all their kitchen stuff standing. A microwave, a coffee machine. Where in the corner we have their sinks. Look how many dishes are now just waiting eternally to be done. still have sponges inside of their packaging. We got plasters. Everything they use in their daily life is still discernible inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So fascinating to see how everything is standing there completely rotting away. But in fact, it, it, it is still there. That's the fascinating part. It was never removed by any owners, never vandalized by any respectless people. No, it's still all there. And that just really sparkles my mind. I mean, not the rotting foods, but just the fact that everything is mostly in its original position ever since it was once left behind eternally. Pots and pans over here. And I think right inside there are still all their keys of the property. Or they used to be all the keys of the property. Yep because they went missing and they're not there anymore. But the fire extinguisher go, though is, is still hanging up. As you can see the structure here right above me is a staircase going up. And we're gonna see that right now. So let's see. Okay, that one is quite stuck. I do not want to be too noisy. Come on, door. There we go. Whoa. Look at the interesting wooden design here again. We even still have all the walking canes still inside of here. Let's reveal the curtain. Oh, some storage right under the staircase. Always a very efficient use of storage inside of these old French chateaus. Everywhere are tiny doors, cabinets, but they are always very well hidden. Look at that. The entire drapery of the wall. It's coming down. And look on top of me, wow. There are so many hunting trophies as well. We still have an old fashioned spinning wheel. A tiny suitcase over here too. There's nothing inside anymore though.
But wow. Isn't this so enchanting? Oh, all those tiny details, the hats hanging there, the hunting trophies, and the colors. So warm. What a post apocalyptic but bewitching environment is inside this place. As if time has frozen ever since a few decades ago when they left. <sighs> wow. Guys, this might even be one of my favorite time capsule chateaus or castles I've seen during my complete exploring career. Hands down. See if I can manage to open this one. There we go. Well, we got some power plug here and yeah, just some tools and appliances. Some telephone numbers over there from the police, the fire department, and these huge chests over here. We got all these papers laying on the floor. It used to be wallpaper, by the way. Let's see if there is still a date on this ripped newspaper. There, but maybe there's another one. Well, there's no newspaper, but I think this is a very old map of France. Wow. Oh my. Look at this. For the automobiles, so for the cars, all the roads. This is complete France, an old map. And over here is our city, Maastricht, dated from the times when it was still written with an A and an E. <sighs> wow, that is amazing. I wish there was a year on this map, but. Again, I can't find it here. But it's an ancient card. That is one thing for sure. It's even saying right over here. When the currency here in France was still in francs as well. Let's put that precious map back where I found it. And then it's time to go upstairs. Oh, look at that vintage cookie tin over there. I really like vintage items like that. I mean, this is not one of those castles with too much grandeur that you think the people that live there, they were way too wealthy. They had way too much money. No, I think this place is actually quite adorable and has so much charm. I really don't know how to explain this to you, but it's also the sense I have while exploring it. You know what I think this was? I think this was storage for when they got presents. They used to drop all the packaging and bags right inside here just to get rid of it. That's what I think. A very squeaky one again. Wow. Guys, look at this. The curtains right over here, they are perfectly matching the wallpaper. 
And then we have a beautiful old portrait of the man that once lived there. I think that over there was Mr. Mathieu. But it's in a very bad state of this repair again. I have to be careful while walking here. Well, where to start off? I'm just gonna carefully walk right over here. Still have an old machine. Maybe for, uh, I think this was for opening wine bottles or maybe pressing something, like an old press. The furniture is just disintegrating by itself because of all the years that have passed. And the statues are doing exactly the same thing. Look at that over here, it's even broken. This arm used to be right over here. Also broken by it though. The multi-fold cobwebs right over there. And the very old desk with a magazine dating. From, from when, again, hardly anything to be found. It looks like a part of a bust or maybe something that used to hang on the wall. I think there used to be some pencils inside. Wow. Even still a tiny spoon is left in this little cutlery set. And apart from this beautiful portrait of Mr. Mathieu, we also have some family pictures. Look at this. And the family was large in size. But I think this was not the complete family, but also some friends and other related people as it seems this was on their wedding day over here we can see them Mr. Mathieu and I think Mrs. Helene is, or, or Helene is her name Wow! <laughs> such a long time ago we cannot even imagine us times like this anymore at least I can't Oh, look over here. It's a check from 500 francs from an industrial chemical awards company or something. Over here we have another photo. Quite the same one, but there are some minor differences compared to the other one. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put this the way I found it here again. As I only want to make my pictures and take my videos and nothing more, only footsteps. Now it's right over here. There is another door and it's saying it's here. C'est ici. But what is here? What is EC? Oh, a toilet. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Oh, there's a huge boiler there. So right over here we have something really interesting. We've got some sketches from the children that actually grew up here. Over here, a baby boy. And then if I reveal that one, 
over there is the same boy when he grew older. You can tell he has a much more hair on his head as well. And then this was one of their other sons. So interesting to see. Beautiful that this was once made for them. And then on top we actually have another passion of the man. As you can see he liked the stuff, insects. We have a butterfly over here. This plate. And look over here. All these bugs and insects with the little tags that are actually saying their specific name and species and everything. And some of them are so tiny. Over here is another one. <laughs> it's cool to see what kept the former owner busy and what he liked to do in his daily life. What his hobbies and passions were. I think this was the microscope where he used to scope and look at the insects while he was stuffing them to see them from a very up close and detailed perspective. Wow. And this over here is actually another radio. Just try to imagine when once music was playing in this place, it was vivid. How badly I would have known and would have wanted to experience how life once was. The previous life that existed here one day. Let's see. Can I open this one up? It seems like this is the key, right? Maybe the other side. No. Oh, there we go. Well, it's mostly filled with sheets. This one is not even opening up anymore. We can see plenty of towels and everything behind the door. Draperies for one person. It's saying in French. Okay, so the first part of the upstairs was absolutely surprising. I cannot wait to find out what's waiting for us if we walk up these stairs. We still have another door over here with a building cabinet with mostly some mechanical items. Again, so many wardrobes, I guess, over here. Oh yeah, again, it's just filled with clothes. I mean, even if the lost inheritance is not caring about the place anymore, why is he not donating the clothes? Because as you can see, bucks are just manifesting the clothes. There is one alive. Mutts and bucks are just eating it. This should be donated for a good cause to people in need. And not just left to waste inside. Even when these clothes maybe belong to his parents. At least that's my opinion. As you can tell it's full of mice and rat droppings over here. Here. Oh, we've got an attic, but let's save that one for later. Because I spotted the door over here. Let's see. No freaking way. No freaking way. Guys, look at this bed right in front of me. This is one of the most beautiful beds I've ever seen in an abandoned property. What the heck? Oh my, and I look over here as well. We've got some old books, we've got some historic frames and plenty of more other 
historical items that are scattered around in this magical king's bedroom. Wow, look over here at the desk. My gosh, this is where the ink pots used to be, filled with ink, where they used to write all their letters with. And over here they could erase the ink with it again, with the ink clutter. Wow, full of knickknacks, also some letters dedicated to Mr. Machu again. I think this used to be a jewelry box one day. Wow. Attached to this bathroom, they had a private bathroom. Everything's made out of wood again. Let's see, there are some old photos over here as well. Actually taken inside of the chateau. Wow. This was in the garden one day. Where you see a woman with her friends having breakfast or lunch. No freaking way. This was once inside the property. It looks so much different compared to now when it was vivid. Even still the toothbrushes and everything, shampoo and grooming products are standing there. A shower cabin over there as well. Wow. We got a beautiful Spanish or Portuguese style stuffed sofa. Such wonderful pieces and precious pieces of furniture. They're definitely used to stand things on top of there. Right now only that spider over there is chilling. I mean, if it's getting better than this room, I will really eat my shoe, because this is unreal. As they would say in France, formidable. English translation, formidable. The spiral carvings, the draperies, the pattern in them, and then the carvings at the headboard of the bed, and even this embroidered seat right in front of it. And then to imagine it's full of debris and dirt and droppings of animals that have manifested this place. This is absolutely formidable. Look at the insides. Waking up in such elegance, such majesty. Who wouldn't feel like a king? I would, heck yeah. Wow. Look, we still have their glasses and everything here. <sighs> Absolutely mind-boggling. Well, this cabinet over here is also disintegrating by its own. And just falling apart, falling to pieces. I'm just completely left in awe by the amount of items and belongings. some purses over there on personal letters that I
clearly do not want to point out in order to protect this place. But something I do really like is that we've got more photos over here. Those are the sheds that we are exploring in a bit. Look, people in the wild. I think the woman with grey hair, or the other woman, was one of the last owners. This is in the castle garden somewhere. And there's the couple, oh no, no, it's not the couple. It's a man with his friend, but somebody was holding his finger in front of the camera. Yep, this was definitely the last owner of this property, Mr. Mathieu. God bless him. Wow. And this is at the lake nearby. Beautiful. From a local photo shop. And then have a look at this perspective of the room. <laughs> One of the best abandoned bedrooms I've ever seen in my life. Even the radio over here I find so elegant. <laughs> they even had jugs over here and, and, and yeah, these cups, probably for drinking coffee in the morning when they woke up. Let's check the expiry date over here, if there is one to be found at least. Maybe in the time era when this was produced. Oh, there is the expiry date, okay. 1994. Guys, 1994, this place is abandoned for, let's say, 17 years? Whoa, wait a second Moreno, we aren't you trying to say 26 years? Anyway, let's just blame the overwhelmment this time. <laughs> 18 years, nearly two decades, it's been sitting here. All the time just waiting for any people that are willing to live inside of it and just waiting to be loved and lifted again. But that obviously never happened. <laughs> it breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Well, what do we have over here? Oh, it's another bathroom. But it's hell of smelly right over here. There is a strong smell of pee. That's yeah, quite nasty. I mean, I will just show it to you quickly and move on. Because things are rotting as well over here. The tissue and the, the swipes there. Veritably untouched. Everything has remained stagnant in time. I've said it for 20 times now probably, but you get the point. This is a banger. This is a true gemstone, this place. <sighs> Two eyes are not enough to look at everything I want. Luckily, we've got plenty of more eyes watching this video. And if you see anything I've missed to point out, then let's hear yourself in the comment section. We still have an old rotary phone over here as well.
absolutely love this room. Everything is so dis so pristine despite its state of decay. It's still so pristine. It has remained imperturbable. <laughs> Even if this tiny toy horse over here who once belonged to a precious child. Well, Moreno, apart from loving this chateau's charm, what do you think is so adorable about it and so mystical? Because there are all these tiny wooden stairs over here as well. It's going down again. We have this little side room. Oh, guys, I'm so excited and happy I get to see this place and even more happy that you get to see it as well. It's a decaying treasure. Old picture in a restaurant. Some jewelry boxes. Glasses. A B day. And of course, why not? Even more clothes just rotting away here. Incredibly sad though, but we're not finished yet. We still got quite some rooms to show you on this floor and we have the attic still left. So let's see what's waiting for us behind this door. Wow. Okay, I have to show you this room from the other perspective. Look at this perspective. What a gorgeous room again. And what I particularly love is that all the rooms are different. Differently built, different use of colors, different furniture, a different design and style. Yeah, that was a lot of words, but it's the truth. I just try to describe what I'm experiencing right now and the feeling I have while I'm seeing all of this abundant beauty just withering away. Wow. Old child picture. This might have been the bedroom of this little girl over here. At least once. Also over here, the ceiling is in a horrible state. Just waiting to be leveled with the grounds. And entirely crumbling apart. must have been large in size because why elsewise would you have so many possessions these boxes over here are all still filled with old negatives and old pictures so we're slowly gonna print through some of those old pictures over here we can capture a very special moment we can see them in actually one of the bedrooms and it is the special bedroom that we've seen with that wonderful bed. And we can see the woman looking to the man getting dressed up for a special occasion. Let's grab the next picture. Oh, this was on their marriage day, somewhere in the town nearby. Okay, time for the next one. Okay, 
Looks like it's maybe one of the daughters or something. We've got so many photos. Just checking out a few more. Looks like it was on the same day in the town. And this over here as well. I think the series is all just from the special day. Maybe the marriage day. Yeah, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Guys, this is so special to see in the church on the marriage day when they walked outside. Is this even in the transport to the wedding? Oh, it's somewhere in the restaurant. Oh, oh my, okay. I wanted to be those two the last ones, but this is so special. Look, this is actually a photo shoot in the actual castle on the balcony. This is her, the woman in a wedding dress. This was clearly the album of their marriage day. But yeah, with that having shown, let's continue right now. Oh, those old photos of their marriage day, how they were dressed up, how they did their photos on the balcony of the castle, how they went to the castle, walked outside of the church. It's another finding that's absolutely left me speechless. And that's why this exploration feels so special to me. Anyway, connected to this bedroom, we have another bathroom in a different style again with some beautiful tiles. And even a tiny heater over here. So there was a plausible temperature inside. And let's check it out behind this door. And yet another bedroom, guys. It's not stopping. And again, this one is totally different, like all of them. I want to see what's inside of here. Looks like there's an old record player or something. There we go. Wow. Look at this, guys. Another beautiful find. It's very old record player with still a record laying on top of it. An absolutely beautiful room again. But compared to the other ones, I find this one more plain. I cannot open the secretary desk anymore. But as you can see over here is a little passage. It used to be a wardrobe, but it's also continuing to another bedroom. But you're gonna see afterwards. What a uni clock. Definitely not one of the typical casual French clocks I found before. I love the painting above this mirror. Okay, so um, in the hallway again, in the corridor, and you can clearly tell it's quite messy over here. So that's one of the sole traces of vandalism I can point out inside this wonderful historical estate. So many clothes, so many beautiful ones. Just going to waste. 
I will never understand it. Never ever. I mean that you don't care anymore about the building is of course already a shame. But on top of that leaving its contents behind. When people are in this world in need. Yeah, let's stop talking about this guys because it's annoying me. We have a little statue over here of this priest I believe. An old sewing machine and scattered around on the floor we've got plenty of letters. I'm not going into detail again as they were all dedicated to Mr. Machu. But hey, look at the religious artifacts that are also still present. The crucifix over there. Beautiful wooden bed. And the antique plates. Maybe family members, all of them, or ancestors. I think this was the bedroom of a child as it's rather small. And so is the bed. The floor feels so weak over here. With every step I take it feels like it's close to collapse. So I have to be very cautious. Let's see if I can open this one up. It's too stuck guys, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna break any of these precious furniture and belongings. So yeah, continuing. And this is the last room on this floor. Oh my. And this one is in the worst state of all, to be honest. I mean, have a look how skewed the ceiling is. There are even holes in the floor there. I really have to watch out at this point. I love this rocking chair over here. I wish I could test it out, but I'm not risking it due to the significant slope in the floor here. Wow, look at this. It looks like a very old... Yeah, in Dutch and France they would say brancard. It's where they would transport people with in the field, and I think this one was used in the actual army to transport the soldiers when they got shot or injured. It's so hard to believe that this place was never open to the public for visitors to wander around. Right now it's clearly unsafe, but I think with minor fixes many people could appreciate the beauty of history and the museum and pieces and war artifacts that are still roaming around here. It is mind blowing. Mind blowing. We have an old picture over there as well. And I was talking about war artifacts. There's even an old hat from one of the members from the military nobility, the noble class. 20 is standing on it. So much paperwork again. Personal letters. Friends writing to them. Sort of a chaise longue. Definitely French furniture, the sofa. Because of the shape like this.
this is what I was talking about. Cracks in the floors. Carpets completely green because of moss. I think this was even an old sort of bath for a child or a baby to wash them and bath. We've seen this man previous times before now. I have a feeling he was Mr. Machu. Well, to show you a last perspective of this mesmerizing bedroom. And then there was only one attached bathroom to it. And then one of the castle towers. But as you can see, it's all in a rounded and vaulted shape. Very unique. This is one of my favorite Castle explorations to date. And with all of these beautiful rooms having showed, we only have one thing left in the actual chateau. And if you remember it right, that's the attic part. So I'm currently walking to it discreetly as this floor is so unstable. There we bag it at one door. Let's check it out. But I think I really have to be careful. Well, I'm gonna show those rooms from distance. I'm feeling spider webs all around my head right now. It means I'm probably the first explorer to go up here. At least in a while. Where are some poissons, the French word for fish? It's even continuing over there. I don't know if that's a smart idea to do. It's even continuing over there as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this slowly, step by step. You probably understand why. Look, we even have more butterfly collections over here. So much storage. Everywhere on the floors and stored in boxes are old magazines. This one dating 1959. Paris match. There's even a bicycle stored over there. I'm literally walking over all these magazines and boxes in order to reach the next room. Some leather shoes. used to be a bedroom one day maybe when they had guests or friends coming over they could sleep there 
We have some old rackets over here as well from a game of tennis or something. What's this book? Looks very nice, at least the cover. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if this way over here is gonna work out. Wow. It's really as if I'm walking in an antique store or something. Stuff that's left of wear is even older from the past generations is just being stored probably. So very old and huge paintings and covers of them. And then we have one last room on the attic. This is so godsmackingly interesting. Over there are even books dating 1903. Got vintage scales, vintage stuff everywhere around. But this is as far as I'm gonna go for my own safety because I've seen the floors right down beneath me and they were definitely not safe anymore and already had cracks and holes in them. So That was it for the chateau part and right now I really want to explore the sheds and the outbuildings together. I spotted a garage and there are some other surprises to follow, not only sheds. So surely make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video. But I already want to thank you profoundly for joining me in this adventure so far and sticking around. Okay, we're going to another atmosphere, the outside. We're gonna explore a little bit of the castle's grounds, the beautiful garden, and the sheds as promised. It's like an apocalyptic jungle if you look around you and you see those pillars with the dense roots and the entire network of the nature that's taking over. It's really interesting to see that there are still some old agricultural vehicles and machines here. The noise of the motor is not adding up to the ambience though. I really prefer the sound of silence and the birds chirping on the background. As you can see right in front of me is that old shed that we've seen on the picture inside, if you still remember it. This 
It's entirely collapsing over here. Today is a nice and sunny day. It started with a little cloudy morning, but right now it's getting better. Okay, let's see what's waiting for us behind those two gates. Whoa, yeah. This is what I've also seen yesterday. It's what I was telling you. These pites, they gained so much wealth. They were happy and satisfied with these small things. And that's what I really like. Just an old French car, a Peugeot C1 205. Just full of dust. Probably also unlocked. Oh no, locked for a difference. But yeah, just a very basic and a normal car. Some other machines for their viticultural business and company. Some oil tanks over here. It's also smelling very oily. Oh, look over there. We have an old motorcycle, a Suzuki. Wow. Also we have a vintage television over there as well. All right, let's go back out again. Because this was not the only shed I want to show you. We're gonna explore. So this was one shed, but there is a very large one over there as well. So let's venture ourselves in the jungle. <laughs> Even over here are still so many documentation and paperwork left behind. All for this this business they had. And probably also employees used to work here in these outbuildings. Maybe also their own gardeners, their own servants, but I'm quite doubting if these people were like that. As they seem to have lived up to quite normal standards at least normal standards compared with other landlords of chateaus I've I've seen it's so beautiful here it's really as I'm walking in a movie set or something and this is not even real <laughs> This is so much better than just a casual forest walk. It seems that there is another part over here. Oh yeah, and this is the surprising one we found yesterday evening. Okay. <laughs> I can just hear the birds on top of the roof panels there. Let's enter this one. And be amazed. Because you're a little expecting what's about to follow right now. Yes, that's right. They had their own private chapel. And it's a shame though that there are plastic garden chairs just standing here. Quite bizarre, but yeah, we can still see the original remains of this beautiful chapel. Religion was so important for these people that lived there. And Mr. Maché even was a holy person. Beautiful stained glass. And what I mean with really was a religious person 
is that he even got an official title that he was an important Roman Catholic person. So we have one last one over here. stairs in this part of the shed. The floor is so weak here. They even have put planks over here to prevent people from falling down and severely injuring themselves. Still an old baby chair over there. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, I don't like it here. Okay, but it was worth it because, have a look. We still have this truly antique prayers chair that probably used to stand in the chapel one day. Still an old guard over there. A bicycle. Yeah, and just some other things. So I made my way back down. This is the last part I want to explore. And then we really explore this place in and out. The rough. Well, yeah, where we have many wooden parts and I think that was it. We did it. We explored this place as a whole. Now I want to go back to the castle to send you my thank you and yeah, do the outro. So that was it guys. That was it for one of my very favorite time capsule chateau explorations to date. I'm gonna sit down for this for a second and I don't even mind when my trousers get dirty right now because this was absolutely breathtaking. And I too roughly want to thank you for watching to this video. Together we gave this property the recognition it always deserved in those 17 or 16 years of abandonment and soon it will be lost and it will be history forever but anyway without further ado i just would love to hear from your thoughts on this video in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video my effort showing it and all the time that we spend inside up to six seven hours then I would highly appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button to support us and to help this video so more people will be reached and we can all together as one big community still appreciate this beautiful historical gem. 
and then in the end you can also always subscribe to our channel it's free it's voluntary and you will not miss out on any new videos we publish and as i always say we will see you on our next adventure in this beautiful planet peace out